Hello everybody, this is Adrienne with Ascension Soul Coaching. Today is January the 30th, 2023. And today we're going to talk about Lisa Marie, Riley Keough, and Priscilla Presley. So as we all just know, you know, unfortunately we just lost Lisa Marie Presley. And what it seems like now is that she has changed her, I don't know if it's her will, but there's a, a, a trustee that she has, an irrevocable trustee, where she used to have her mother... Priscilla Presley and her business uh, manager, Mrs. Seltzer, on listed as the trustees. So um, in 2016, when she was going through her divorce with Michael Lockwood, uh, it seems that she uh, changed it. So she listed her daughter, Riley, and her son, Ben, as the new trustees. Well, since she's died, you know, you could see all the things that people have done, and Priscilla saw that her name was taken off of the trustee and now it's just the two children and unfortunately again we have ben who's passed away so only riley is listed as the just a surviving trustee actually so now what's happening is that priscilla is contesting the change in the trustee uh, information and she wants her name put back on the list now what we do know is that in 2016 uh, when lisa was divorcing mr lockwood uh, the father of the twins um, Priscilla took Michael's side of the divorce. She wanted uh, Michael to have the children, but which ended up having, she had temporary custody until everything was settled. Then Lisa ended up getting uh, custody of the children. She got the most time with the children than Michael did. So it's been really, really interesting. So everybody's like wondering what's gonna happen with uh, between Priscilla and uh, Riley. Is this gonna cause some type of issue between them? Because She's 33 years old. She's more than capable of running this estate just like her mother was. So I want to read today on what's going to happen, okay? And what has caused this fracture? What has, what's the really core of the fraction between Priscilla and Lisa? And then what's going to happen between Priscilla and Riley because of Priscilla taking her to court or taking the estate to court actually, right? So let's get to reading. Okay, so what we're going to start today with you all is we're going to start with the psych cards. These cards. We're going to read psychologically what's the under-running uh, theme between Lisa and Priscilla. So in 2016, what was going on between Lisa and Priscilla? Because we know Priscilla took over Graceland in the 1980s. After Vernon died, um, they left it to Lisa, but Priscilla was one of the trustees along with the bank, and they decided to actually make Graceland a museum for, for tours. And it was a great idea because uh, the whole Elvis thing started up all over again, and people really got involved and enjoyed buying uh, uh, new albums, new magazines, everything Elvis at that time, and then the tour started. Um, they said that Lisa was too young at the time, 21 years old, to take over. Um, Grayson because she was on drugs and there were some issues with her being a defiant child that Priscilla had to send her away to um, the Scientology school for a year, girls school I suppose, for her to get some discipline. So, and then they changed her age to 25 and then they changed it I think to 30 and then she finally took control over Grayson. So let's see what was going on in 2016 because that is very important to what happened to why Lisa changed the trustee all right so we're going to throw out three cards and three cards are going to be lisa priscilla and the relationship at the time in 2016. so this is lisa came out that way it doesn't matter if it's upside down then we go priscilla throw out a card for priscilla This is Priscilla, and this is the relationship in 2016, 2016 between Lisa and Priscilla. With how it summarizes that relationship at that time that made her want to change the trustees. One more card.
There we go. Three cards, y'all. Okay, so the first card for Lisa that's going to represent Lisa in 2016 is... <laughs> no. Priscilla is liberation. And the relationship is the sage at the time. So because these are psych cards and these are not tarot cards per se, we're going to read what this means. So Lisa's attitude during that time was no. Lisa at the time, I believe, not only was she going through the divorce with her husband, Michael Lockwood, she also, um, I think around that same time, she found out that there was issues with Graceland somewhere between 2010 and 2016, where her manager, business manager, Mrs. Seltzer had actually, she claims, was taking uh, making decisions for his own goods, not hers and not for Graceland. And so that's one of the reasons she was upset with him. Uh, you know, and also all of her life, she said her mother has always been uh, very strict with her and always wanted to take control, unlike her father. Her father let her do whatever she wanted to do. But all through her life, her mother's been very controlling. However, they also say, and she agrees, that she was also defiant. And if you tell her yes, if she told her no, she's going to do it anyway or find another way around it to get things done. So in her mind, what was happening is like she wanted to take control of her life. For so many years, she's been told no. For so many years, she's been told you need to follow what we tell you. For so many years, they treated her like a child. And so at this point, Lisa's like, no, I'm standing up for myself and I'm going to do things I want. I'm in control of this estate. I'm going to do it the way I think is best. And I feel she felt at the time, if you think about 2016, her daughter, so her daughter's 33 now, that's seven years ago. So she was, what, 26? And her son at the time was around 23, 22, something like that. So they were grown. They were adults. It was over 21 years old. And she felt like, okay, it's now, now time for me to take decisions and control this Graceland the way I want to. That's what my mom did for me until I was 30, I'm going to give my kids, and, and no one, of course, thought Lisa was going to pass away anytime soon. So when she did this, she was thinking that it would be solidly in their control uh, when she passed. Her mom is, what, 70 years, 77 years old now, Priscilla 77. So she wanted to be set up so they can easily transition into running and maintain, managing Graceland. So her was like, her idea was like, no more. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to do it my way. I'm in control. And I'm giving it to the kids. Okay. Now, liberation is for Priscilla. This is how she's feeling about the relationship with uh, uh, Lisa at the time in 2016 when she was getting a divorce. Now, you can look at this ca this house, this castle like Graceland. Graceland was running pretty smoothly for the most part. People were still interested in Graceland and Elvis. But she wanted to take a break from it as well and live her own life at that time. But the divorce brought her back in she didn't want to be she didn't want to be caught in this thing between michael lockwood and lisa but she also felt like she couldn't run away i don't think she felt she could run away that she had she was being pulled back into the situation because of the grandchildren that was involved in the in the uh, custody fights and everything that was going on between lisa and michael so she felt like i don't want to be a part of this i'm tired of this i've done my part um and i think somewhere she must have said that and Lisa's like, fine, I'll take over. And she made changes, especially with the business manager screwing her over, supposedly. And her mom saying she's tired and she wants to live her own life. I think she, you know, she was maybe on the board or something. I'm not sure. But she was not running Graceland the way she was before. And she felt pretty good about that. But she felt like now she was being brought back in because of the children. And then the sage is the relationship during the time in 2016. This this is the, this summarizes the relationship between the two of them and we're going to read the card 31 um it says the card offers you the antidote to a powerful drug lord that may be poisoning your mind hmm the sage takes the heat of fer feverish passion that on occasion sweeps dangerously through our lives. It represents old age, wisdom, and prudence. There are times when we need help outside. Uh, excuse me. There are times when we need outside help in order to extricate ourselves from deep holes, often um, of our own digging. The sage provides the advice and authority we need. 
This may come in the shape of an experienced friend, a counselor, a doctor, or a lawyer. Someone wise in the ways of the world who can see our problems in a detached way. Okay, so what was going, what I'm seeing now is in 2016, Lisa was going through some, not only was she being defiant yet again, I mean, in a good way, because she was grown, but there must have been some drug usage. I think the mother thought she was going through drug usage, especially with the really turbulent relationship with Michael Lockwood. And she felt like, okay, there's drugs. Lisa needs help. Lisa needs help. The children are going to suffer if I don't step in, which is why mama took over the kids, even though she didn't want to be dragged into raising kids again. She loved the grandkids, but she, she had to raise her kids. And she felt Lisa should be taking care of Graceland. And she wanted to just live her life and have a little bit of freedom of choice and not be stuck with that huge, huge um, responsibility that she'd been taking care of for like 25, 30 years. But she felt like Lisa... <clears throat> was on a downward spiral, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the um, drugs that there was evidently more, I think a lot, Michael might have told her that Lisa's back on drugs. Um, Priscilla may have seen it and that's probably why Priscilla took Michael's side in the divorce over the children because Lisa evidently must have been back on drugs and they felt that she needed help. Okay, that's what I'm seeing there for what was happening in 2016. So when Lisa passed, Evidently, she didn't tell her mother she had changed the trustees. So when Lisa passed away, did, before she passed away, what was the relationship between her? What was she thinking about the relationship between her and her mother? And we're going to pull uh, two cards, one for Lisa, one for Priscilla, at the time of death. Or, you know, around the time of her death, how was she, her mother, how, how was her and her mother's relationship? Lisa and uh Priscilla. And I'm just going to pull out two cards. And these are the two cards. Okay. These are the Symbolon cards, also for psychology. We use for psychology. And when I say what we use for psychology, I'm saying that if you're doing a counseling session with someone, you can actually, when they people can't articulate how they feel, they can actually pull a card to represent their feelings. And then they can talk about what's in the cards. And then we, from there, can talk about um, um, how we can help them and how they can help themselves by first identifying how they feel and what's the next steps, what's the, what are actions to make them feel better, to get them out of the spiral they're in or the situation they're in to make life better. But when we read tarot, I'm type, tapping into the person so that I can try to figure out what they're thinking or what was thought and then see if that works and that's, that resonates with them and then we can talk about what's happening. And that's what I'm doing now, just so you would know. So I pulled out two cards. One is for Lisa. It is the angel. Okay. And then... <laughs> Um, Priscilla's card is um, the Pied Piper. You can see that. You have fallen for someone's line. They are a pretender. Okay, so we're going to read. So Lisa's card is number 12 at the time of death. Her relationship with her mother was the angel to search for salvation. I said solution. I'm sorry. The search for salvation. It says many people are on their road. It says many people are on their road to enlightenment. He seeks salvation, perfection, completion, nirvana. Every one of those terms promising the ultimate path of deliverance deep inside of us describe something that is still far from us. And many more have achieved this goal and can be role models it's in the fourth shock uh, detoxifying wouldn't that be something so but this card is cruel you're fooling yourself time to stop dreaming now in my last reading with uh lisa we were saying that um she's going to be a guardian angel over her grand over her children and evidently over her grandchild now that she has a grandchild and over she's she saw herself as a guardian angel over her father's estate and his legacy so but she was still missing something and you all know in 2020 her son you know killed himself committed suicide and she felt that she was still his guardian angel and i think her mother said she died of a broken heart. I think there's a lot of things 
happening with Lisa and she was searching for something and <clears throat> she definitely was searching for her son and being a better person. And I think on some level she felt responsible for her son killing himself. <clears throat> she was trying to think, do things right, but you can't, if you have addictions and you've not really dealt with them or it's, I don't know if it's psychological or physiological, but she hadn't overcome them. So when these things started to happen with her, you know, the, the, the divorce, well, let's start with her father dying. That was hard. Then Michael Jackson. I think she truly loved him. He died. Then you had her son die. That was devastating. And now, then you had the issues with the money, with the, leg with the legacy over, over Elvis's name. Um, and then the last divorce with Michael Lockwood. And she's never really had a really great relationship with her mother. They have a close relationship, but not a great relationship. So that's always had a lot of issues in her life. So she was trying to change herself. She was trying to figure out what do I need to do to change myself? God, I've come falling down to the lowest that I can fall, fall with my son passing. I need to change my life. I need to do things different. But she, you, she couldn't do it by herself. She was searching for salvation, but it's a hard task is what it's saying. Okay. And so the relationship with her mother is, yeah, she wanted a better relationship with her mother. They were working on it, but they knew the limits with each other. And then mother, Miss Priscilla, it says, um, the Pied Piper, card number 53, I believe. And we're going to read that card. Okay, so the Pied Piper, there are people who possess a mysterious power. One likes to follow them. They may be, uh, be football players, rock stars, actors, gurus, cult-like figures. <laughs> they cast their line in that order you might fall for them. Lock, stock, and barrel. Some blow a pipe and some sing a song for the same reason. This card intends to tell you you're falling for someone's line. He or she is a pretender. He or she shows you what uh, shows you the secret of their success in order to make you believe that you can do the same of your own accord. Okay, so what it's saying that, okay, <sighs> Priscilla's always followed Elvis Presley. He's the rock star. She's always followed. She's always wanted everything to be great. She wanted Lisa to be great. She wanted Lisa to have her own life, but also she knew she was connected to the legacy of Elvis through, through, through uh, Lisa Marie. And Lisa knew that, and she knew that the reason why mom never changed her name or got married again because she wanted to keep that Prezi legacy because it was magical, right? Um, Lisa knew that, and she, she, I think in a kind of a way, I think that Lisa kind of held her mom accountable for her father dying. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Um, she did say one time in an interview that she was mad at a lot of people because they did they let her father die they didn't help him help him you know as a child nine-year-old this was what you think that no one helped my father and then her mother divorcing him and leaving him and being halfway across the world or across the country rather uh every six months wasn't good for lisa and she kind of held some grudges about that i don't think she held any grudges for her father more than she did for her mother and she thinks that her mother chases the money her mother chases the the elvis legacy like uh, and no one in, in life does. And I think that Lisa knew that about her mother. So they were both trying. But Priscilla always wanted Lisa to follow her. Be more like her. Look more like her. Act more like her. Be more mature like her. In a way. She wanted the legacy of Elvis because through Lisa, but she wanted Lisa to be more pragmatic and logical like her. And uh, that just wasn't, so they didn't just, they didn't jive. They just didn't jive together. They were, they loved each other, but they just had different views of how life should be, you know, but they understood that at the time of death, they understood that. So, but I think that's where they were when she passed. Now, this thing with Riley, I'm going to put these cards over here. How is this case, this least Priscilla contesting this trustee change? Now, at least Priscilla saying that, that the reason she's contesting it is because her name was spelled wrong. She was supposed to be awarded, uh, notified by mail that this was, there was going to be a change, but, and she didn't get that. And she said the signature on the trustee was not 
uh, sign in Lisa's normal handwriting. So how is this going to impact Riley and Priscilla's relationship? Now that Priscilla is trying to take, trying to take this to court. So I'm going to throw out three cards for them. Riley, Priscilla, the relationship because of this court case. Okay, so we got to throw out three cards. This is Riley. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so these two cards. This is Priscilla. And this last one is going to be their relationship. Riley, Priscilla, and the relationship. Riley, Priscilla. And the relationship. So this is the third card that's going to fall. And there we go. Third card. And I am using the Madhouse Tarot for this. So with uh, these cards, we got the three. With so with Riley, according to this contesting Priscilla contesting the trustee. Riley's going to be walking through something really unusual she's never walked through before. She's never experienced this relationship side with Priscilla before that Lisa has, the control part. Um, this is new to her, and she's going to walk with it on faith. She has a good, really strong husband beside her, and she's going to now see who Priscilla really is, right? And a lot of light's going to be shown on her, but she's got to walk by faith that her mother wanted her to be in control of Graceland. And you know now that her brother's past, it's just going to be her. Um, so that's that. And then with uh, Priscilla, the card is um, it, it's justice. It's reverse. Let me show you the card. This is just right side up. And this is it reversed. And then just justice reverse is more like um, legal flaws. Uh, you've done something wrong. You're going to be held accountable. And you're thinking you're not going to be held accountable for it, but you are. And I think with this is saying that um, she's not going to win the court case. She's not going to win it. Um, a lot of things going to come out of here that's just not going to be good. She's going to have to tell a lot of things about Lisa that's not going to be good. And why she think it, that the, the trustee uh, was alterated um, illegally or whatever maybe Lisa was taken advantage of. She's going to have to make a case for that, her and her lawyers. But I think that she's not going to win this case because they're going to prove that Lisa actually signed it. And she's not going to be too happy with that. But even after that, after the case is done and everything, how is the relationship going to be between her and Riley and Priscilla going to be? And it's nine of wands, which means it's getting close to, you know, the end, right? Um, it's, there's a lot of things going on. A lot of things are going to be said. Uh, for, uh, Riley's not going to be too happy with the fact that her grandmother doesn't grandmother doesn't believe she can handle this. She's 33. She can handle it. Um, she may have a temper like a father, her mother though. <laughs> but right now, it's she's never shown it to her towards Priscilla, and it may come out during this court case because a lot of things are going to be said about her mother that if Le Priscilla had not taken it to court and contested it, would not come out. If it if her name is put back on this, it's through not because of the court, but because of uh, Riley saying she can be. But I don't think that's going to happen. However, I do still see Priscilla assisting with the estate uh, for the first few years until the girls are of age. The other two are of age, uh, either 18 or 21, um, which they're 14 now. So you're talking about, about seven, between four to seven more years. I do think that there will be some type of agreement regarding it because there's things that Riley still needs to learn. And at least and excuse me, Priscilla knows a lot about the estate, but it's going to have to go through all the legal ease and controversies to get to that point where that happens. And so that relationship is going to be very strained. This is going to take a lot of work to put it back together. And I'm not saying they're not going to trust each other, but it's just going to be hard on them. And it's going through a death of, of Lisa Marie at the same time and all the turnover and all the issues with the, the girls where they're going to be living and how that's going to work out and Riley's still working on her career and her new baby it's going to be a lot on everybody so it's going to really strain this relationship because if it hadn't been contested 
the stuff about Lisa wouldn't come out and there's going to be a lot of stuff because Priscilla is going to have to try to prove why she doesn't think it's Lisa's signature. Why was she taken advantage of? Was she on drugs during this time? Was she just in balance? Did she have a nervous breakdown during this time when she was with Michael Lockwood? Because there was a lot of nasty things said between the both of them and the, so bad that the kids had to be put in uh, temporary custody with Priscilla. So there is a lot of stuff. So it's going to be very hard on both of them in that relationship. Okay, y'all, that's my reading for the day. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, they're going to work it out. It's going to take some time and it's going to take some healing of their relationship because this is not the time to really be pushing Riley through this. And it's really not a good time for even Priscilla to be going through it because Priscilla is trying to control everything that's what she does she's a control freak and I don't have a problem with someone just making sure everything is only up up and up um, that some there's some inconsistencies in the trustee list but you know it sometimes at least Priscilla is gonna have to let it go and let these girls especially Riley become a woman and mature show her maturity and her, the fact that she's accountable and she's responsible because her mother gave her this responsibility, she can do it, let her do it. And then she just be on the backside, just helping push her along and guide her, not take over. That's the way I see it. That's how this relationship's gonna last. Other than that, it's gonna be chaos. It's gonna be, uh, Riley's not as bad as Lisa as far as the being the defiant. She's not that at all. She wouldn't be where she's at in the acting career and feel people love her. But you know, Priscilla can bring out some things and people, that's all I'm trying to say. Priscilla got her way has her ways about her as well. She may come off as being very sweet and humble, but homegirl and get where she's at without having some tactics or understanding what she needs to do. She says she didn't really deal much with Colonel Parker, but she saw how Colonel Parker ruled the roost when it came to managing business affairs. So it's at least for Elvis to get him where he was. That's my reading for the day. What do y'all think what's going to happen between uh, Riley and uh, Priscilla? Let me know. Write it down below. Love to hear your comments. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like and share the video. Anyway, you all have a great day. Blessings.